Hello, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Some of the things we do every day, but we don't think about it at all, like breathing. But once you are suffocating, you are short of breath, then it comes to your mind. Imagine experiencing this on your laptop when the wireless network is acting up, then you know how it feels. We have created tons of scenario tests, running actual simulations using real use scenarios on laptops. Based on user surveys, poor wireless network user experience mainly comes from slow network speed, network outage, weak signal, and even bad looking logo of a network card brand. Hmm, seriously? We sum it up into three Wi-Fi capacities. Wi-Fi throughput capacity, connection stability, and anti-interference capacity. First, the air throughput test for maximum network speed is the first wireless test method initiated by Lenovo to test the connection speed of a laptop in different scenarios. We place the laptop and the router separately in a darkroom environment, isolated from other signals interference. Then simulate user scenarios to test the network speed. Like Wi-Fi signals in different frequency bands, different ways of placing router antennas, different patterns and postures of users when using laptops, a long list of test reports. It's to detect whether the basic network speed of a laptop is up to the standard without any external interference. Because of a two-way communication of a network, we usually measure the throughput test equipment by two indicators, TX transmission rate and RX transmission rate. The next step is to see if a laptop wireless connection can perform well in a real-world environment with all sorts of distractions. That's where the Wi-Fi anti-interference test comes in. For wireless interference, from the technical side, it's mainly signal interference at the same and adjacent frequencies. In terms of production, it can be the noise of the system's own electronics or interference from other devices at the same frequency. In the current network environment, 24 GHz is most susceptible to interference, so we placed Wi-Fi signal noise generators with different intensity of 24 GHz channels around the laptop through simulation. These noises were imitated by devices working with 24 GHz Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in the simulated home network environment. In our environment, we quantify these complex noises and got the anti-interference ability of products through Lenovo's unique evaluation system, so we can improve the wireless performance of our products. Wi-Fi's anti-interference ability to the surrounding environment is up to standard. It does not mean laptop wireless network capability is qualified, because in the actual use scenario, the Wi-Fi of laptop and the router is not simple two-way operation. Wi-Fi signals will not only be interfered by external Bluetooth signals, mobile phone signals, and neighbors' router signals, but also be affected by USB interface transmission, screen, RAM, touchpad sampling, and other signals. So we also need to have stability tests in complex network environment. In our lab, we made a simulation layout according to big data research on user network environment parameters, including adjacent frequency interference by external devices and internal noise output of laptops. Then, in this environment, we tested on 360-degree wireless signal receiving and transmission performance for a long time. So we can get the wireless network stability of a laptop and give feedback to the RD. These three tests are only part of it. There are some other tests like router compatibility, automatic network test, your mobile environment, and so on. In short, we'll only make judgment on laptop's wireless connectivity until we have done all these tests. Only after reaching the standard set by Lenovo will it be applied to the final product. That is all for today's wireless network capability talk. Leave your comments down below if you have any questions for our wireless networking developing engineers. Catch you in the next one.